so hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel again so guys in this video we will see that your sn monitor is blinking blue light okay so in this video we will see what we do to resolve this and what's its me okay now guys in my monitor it is simply a solid blue light okay but in your in your case it is blink so it means that it should be the wrong input sources is selected on the monitor okay so you can try to change your mode for input sourcing okay for checking the input sources first of all you can check that your input cable is properly aligned or not okay check your both your monitor as well as your cpu cable okay after checking the cable of input sourcing then you try to check it is working or not if it is not working so you also change the port of your monitor so guys if you having more than two ports but in my case i have only one port of vga but if you having more two ports like if you have the hdmi port so you also try to switch into the another mode okay so then maybe your problem will be resolved and you also perform one more uh, fix to resolve this issue you just press this button again then you can see there is a option of reset okay i am pressing it then you can go downward and here you can see the setting icon okay so you can click on it and by this option you can reset your monitor and you can see now we our monitor in the reset mode and you can wait for two to three minutes to get up it ready and after that we will check the problem is resolved or not if the problem is resolved so you can enjoy your monitor otherwise guys you need to contact with the support team for contacting the support team you should take the another device okay so i am will see you and here you can search the uh, Acer support okay then after that you can move to this link Acer support India and here you can go downward and if you want to sign in so you can directly sign it otherwise you can uh, go here and go for the warranty inquiry if your product in under the warranty okay so then you can go to the repair and here you can enter your case id and verification code and you can get your problem solution here okay so guys this is the way for contact with the support team for any problem so guys thank you and have a nice day and subscribe our youtube channel for the further information maybe this video is very helpful for you